Sorry, Tess. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. We got it exactly on time for this meeting. What do you mean? Good morning. It is the beginning of day number four and we're here in Chilliwack. We're going to be heading out to Langley shortly. For all the bragging Mike does about the weather here, it still got down to around five or six degrees last night. Really good visit with some of our donors. It's pretty encouraging to see how our donors just keep, keep standing with us, realizing that we're all doing this for God's kingdom. Yeah, so we're heading on to Langley area, we're gonna head up uh, Credo Christian School. A lot of people think that when we're on fall tour, uh, it's only fall tour all the time, but the reality is we're actually juggling a whole bunch of different files. So for example, this week I'm working with some of the other lawyers on our staff, trying to finish our paperwork to, to file an application to intervene in a really important charter challenge in Alberta right now. The call-in is trying to get call to action to Ontarians right now on engaging in the sex ed curriculum debate out there. Hannah's juggling all kinds of uh, emails in the info account and sending out newsletters. That cool guy in the background right there, Daniel, pumping out all kinds of videos in the meantime. So what's going on here? Uh, we're going out for lunch with some ARPA representatives. Well, so we're uh, driving to the airport here, gonna have some lunch. Beautiful day in Langley. So we just finished up at Credo School here in Langley and we're off to Elder Grove CanRC to set up tonight's event. Actually, I won the humblest award. I'm the top of the humblest. Can I get a large pumpkin spice latte? Yeah. Daniel's a basic white girl. <laughs> wrapping up a really, really good presentation here in Langley. Uh, one of the questions that we had, all of these things going on, especially in Alberta, education development, is this really a hill to die on? Do we have, is it such a big deal if we don't, if we don't use the terms the government's asking us to use? In response to that, one of the things we could share is, hey, it's not only through, through government action that, that we could see real consequences, you know, to die on a hill could be a, a loss of accreditation. There's other ways in which that you can, uh, we can lose something that we hold so dear, like our schools. And one of those ways is that we just simply stop being Christian schools, stop being reformed schools by making policies that don't actually look all that different than what all the other schools in the world have. And that doesn't just happen instantly. That's a process. And that's why it's so important that every decision we make, every policy, every word in the policy is done intentionally and faithfully. <laughs> <laughs> 